Hi, this is Liz with A Kid Fixers. Today we're discussing how to replace a hard drive and install Windows 10 on your Alienware computer. First, we're going to start with the replacing hard drive portion. If you're looking for just the installation of Windows 10 portion, skip to a minute and 24 seconds of this video. So, first thing you're going to do with your Alienware computer is you are going to open up the bottom. I'm fast forwarding, forwarding this, unscrewing the bottom panel portion because it's, well, it's boring. So, uh, go ahead and take that bottom panel off. And as a side note, if you find this video in any way left, uh, helpful, please like and share. So as you can see, I unscrewed all the screws, took the bottom panel off, and attached the battery with a plastic, not metal pry tool. Just because you don't want power going to a board when you're working on it. It's just not a smart idea. Next, I go ahead and I pry that hard drive off. Now this particular Alienware does not have a hard drive caddy. If you find it has a hard drive caddy, you may need to remove some screws. Uh, but this one doesn't. It did not come with one. Okay, so this is the hard drive I pulled out of my Alienware computer. Uh, this is a very typical size, so if the one you pulled out, pull out of your computer looks like this, pretty good chance it's the same thing. I mean, you can always check with your manufacturer to make sure. This is called a SATA connection, and the size is a 2.5, so if you're looking to replace it, that's what it is. So, I'm going to take my new hard drive, I slide that little hard drive port back on, and then I insert it back in its cradle, like so. And I re-plug in the battery. And it's literally that simple. And then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put my bottom panel on. Sometimes you might be uh, a little bit more work to get in the bottom, but you can always look up a disassembly video if yours is a little different. But now to how to install Windows 10 portion of the video. If you need a bootable USB for Windows 10, we have a video listed down below that shows you how to do it uh, from Microsoft free. Uh, that's in the description down below. So you're going to take that bootable Windows 10 USB and you are going to plug it into your Alienware computer. And then you're going to hit your power button and you're going to immediately start tapping on F12 to get to the boot menu. So once the boot menu pops up like so, you are going to use your arrow keys. You're going to hit the down button, select UEFs, Sandus, and hit enter. So you're going to see a lot of that kind of thing, and then you're going to get to this purple screen like so. At this point, you're going to take your mouse, and you're going to hit the next button. You're going to hit install now. You're going to see a lot of stuff like this. Setup is starting. You'll have to wait. It's okay. Then you're going to I accept the license and terms. You're going to hit next. Then hit custom. Then go ahead and delete all these partitions. Select one, hit delete. Sometimes there's a lot, don't worry. Go ahead and just delete them all. And then when it says unallocated space, like so, then you can hit next and it will start to install. As a shout out, if you run into any snags, your installation for any way reason doesn't work, we have a video on how to troubleshoot installation problems. Okay, so I fast forwarded to the end screen. Go ahead and hit restart now. You're going to get a bunch of these starting services, getting device ready, stuff like that. But once again, that video link for if you have any problems with it not completing, not working properly, that's in the description down below. Okay, so this means my installation is done after all that waiting time. You're going to hit yes. And then you're going to select your keyboard. I'm going to skip because I don't need a second keyboard. So now we're just going through different options. This is where you connect to a network. I'm not going to bother, but if you wanted to, you would go ahead, select your network, hit connect, then type in your password. I'm going to write, I don't have internet. That way I'm not stuck putting, attaching my Microsoft account. This is a behind the scenes way of doing it, behind back door way, I mean. Hit continue with limited setup. And then boom, I don't need to attach a Microsoft email account. Then I can just name my PC whatever I want like a normal person and hit next. I type in Dell, next, I'm not going to do a password because I'm going to sell this computer. Uh, do more, I'm just going to hit no. I am going to get help from the digital, I'm going to hit accept, digital assistant. And then accept once again because I'm okay with all these privacy settings. And then I am done. So there's going to be some lag time in between some of these things, but you're okay. Anyway, that's how you install 
Solid State Drive and Windows 10. Thanks for watching. If you found this video in any way helpful, please like and share. If you like computer repair videos, then go ahead and subscribe. If you have any questions or comments, then go ahead and leave them down below. But anyway, from one ACAD to another ACAD, this is Liz signing out.